Hi there. Today we are going to look at one of the most useful monitoring programs that is open source, and that is Uptime Kuma. This gives you real-time monitoring of services, websites, APIs, Docker containers, which allows you to ensure that we have the right uptime and performance. Uptime Kuma is a beautiful dashboard, intuitive and visibly appealing interface for managing and viewing all monitored services. Uptime Kuma allows you to do Docker monitoring, monitoring containers alongside with other services to track their health and their status. We are able to configure it. So let's first look at the appearance. Most people don't like light themes, so let's go for the dark theme. As you can see here, we have a representation of the heartbeat. We can put it under the container that we are monitoring. That's container or server. And the developer that created Uptime Kuma also created Dockage. You can see the similarities. These are all Docker containers. We are using Uptime Kuma to monitor our Docker containers even our Docker LXC container inside Proxmox. We are also able to monitor Proxmox. To monitor our Docker containers, there's two ways to do that. The simplest way is to create a monitor. Now, since I already have the monitor, I will just edit it. And you can see that we can monitor a URL. We can also monitor a port here we are using the host name and the port for our vault warden docker container to monitor it that way we can see that our next cloud docker container is down and we can verify that if we open docs you may notice it looks very similar to Uptime Kuma, and that is because this Docker monitoring tool was developed by the same developer. Here, we can see that the service is down, and hence it's coming up as red. As we mentioned earlier, Uptime Kuma features customizable notifications. So here we are monitoring our Jellyfin server, and if we go and edit it, we can set up notification. And you have a very large range of notifications that we can set. From Telegram to Pushy to Notify, NTFY. It even has Microsoft Teams. Matrix, which is also open source, and even emails. I could configure this to send me an email when that Docker container goes down, which makes this a very powerful and useful monitoring tool. Enough said about this. It's time for us to get our fingers dirty. We have provided a blog page with all the instructions how to do this. Please have a look down below and find the link to this blog page. In our Proxmox server, we have an Alexi container. In there, we are running all our Docker containers. We need to open the console. We are going to create a folder for our Docker stack. Since we have logged in as root, we don't need to do sudo su dash. However, if I was logged in as a different user, I would need to run this command. Now we need to create a folder inside our stacks folder. Dash p. This command will create the folder if it doesn't exist, and if it does, it will not display an error. Now we can go to that directory. And now we need to create a Docker Compose file. The modern format is compose.yaml. 
we will take this content here and paste that in there. However, in order to ensure that this was working properly, we have already created the file to test it. In your case, that's the command you run, and then you would paste the content in there. I'm not going to do that, as I already have it working. You would say Control s for save, and X as in X-ray to exit. And now, let's clear the screen. We will now start this by running the docker compose up command and we will use dash d so that it runs in detached mode and that is to give us back the terminal once it starts. If you don't put dash t then the minute you do a control c or close the terminal it stops. This will keep it running forever, almost. And it's up. If we open Docs, we can see that Uptime Kuma is up and it's healthy with a port of 3000. And if you move your mouse over there, it gives you the local URL to open it. We have a Docker container called Vault Warden, which is active with the port of 8073. If I click over that, I can get the URL. So let's do that and let's copy that. And go back to Uptime Kumar. If you look at the top, there's an Add New Monitor. We are going to use that. We are going to give this a name Vault Warden. This is an important Docker container that we use. It contains all our passwords. You could use URL and then paste your URL like that. There is another mode which we would like to demonstrate and that is TCP port. So what we need to do here is put the host name and the 8073 we're going to type below in port. And you can see it's monitoring it and it's up. If we click on one of these heartbeats, we get a history of the availability of that Docker container or server. You'll notice there's nothing there and there's a reason for that. If we go back here to the monitoring, you can see that it will monitor once every 60 seconds, so once a minute. And if I look at one of the others, I have set them up with different monitoring times, like once an hour. There, this one is set up for once every 10 minutes. So that's how you set the monitoring time. The next thing we can do is to set notification. To do that, click on the server or service or Docker container that you are monitoring. So that's Vault Warden. And then we go and edit it. And here we set up notification. Now, if you look at this, we have by default it uses Telegram. So if you have Telegram, you can set it up and it will send you a message. You could even use this to do email. There we are. And you need to put the details of your SMTP server in there. I'm not going to do that. Alternatively, if you have Microsoft Teams, you could click here and then in there you can put the details. It's the webhook URL for your Teams. And it will then send messages to your Teams. Notify or NTFY is an open source notification system that you can use for free. You can use this to send notifications, usually pop-up notifications. So it all depends on what your requirements are for notifications. As you can see, this was a very simple installation. It was very easy to set up. 
easy to configure and extremely useful. We trust you found our video interesting. Please give us a like and please subscribe to our channel as we have not reached our target yet. And with that we say, Bene grazie amigo, sef caristos in nader fe, baie danki frint tot sins, domo arigato tomadachi sayonara.